Okay, hi everyone. So this is Gymshark episode 18. This is carrying on from last week. I actually sound worse than I did last week. This is me last week. You know it's going to be a good day when you wake up and you have to take vitamin C capsule E tablets and a pack of tissues to work with you. My plan for today is to make sure I feel amazing tomorrow for legs. Last night I couldn't move. My skin is bad, my throat hurts, my ears hurt. My, I'm not as achy as I was last night or this morning, which is good. So, the lenses is helping. Hey, well, that's my really, that's my update. That's my update. But I think I'm over the worst of it. I was so achy, I spent four days in bed. I really want to, um, train, it's Monday and I've not trained since last Tuesday, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna have a nap after one of my, my next client, get up and have some food, um, and then maybe just squat, like I might not be able to do anything else, but I'm eating some porridge. I need to relax my voice, cause talking hurts so much. And then... home from the gym it was so good it was really good to go back I'm not gonna lie I'm really really tired I am really glad I ate a lot because I think that's why my squats felt really really good but um the thing that felt tired during my squats was my core and then I could tell by the end of my glute bridges that my core wasn't really doing as much because I felt a little bit tight in my lower back um, and then when I got onto the leg press, I just couldn't make my hips and my lower back feel comfy. I just felt squashed. Like, not in pain or anything, but I just didn't feel, like, strong and, like, I didn't feel like I had a solid base. So that's why I only did a couple of sets on the leg press. Um, so I'm going to put the workout in here. Enjoy the voiceover. I've made it to the gym and I'm so nervous because I haven't trained. And I did actually die. So I did a warm up on the treadmill, and I, by the end of it, was like really raspy and struggling to breathe. So that was fantastic. But chip pick whatever warm up you want. I just really wanted to get the blood flowing so that um, I didn't pull anything basically. I then went into my favourite mobilising exercises, so these include leg swings, always do leg swings, focus on flexing your foot and you'll feel that down your hamstring, um, keep your torso really still, and then I kind of did these rocking Bulgarian split squat positions to get into my hip flexor and my quad, I then did a more static quad stretch before moving into some actual Bulgarian split squats, pushing into my front heel. I then go into a pigeon stretch or a glute stretch. I tried not to hold this for too long. I kind of bounce, oh my God, my bum is really flat from this angle. That's really weird. Um, anyway, try and keep your mobility exercises dynamic. Oh, that's a better angle. Um, yeah, try and keep everything dynamic so that you're not just holding and stretching the muscle. This um, isn't good for strength. Um, so in these uh, long lunges, I did them rocking forwards and backwards ten times. And then I go back onto the right-hand side and I go side to side. And then I do it again going in circles. And then did a, a tiny bit of glute activation. I just did these lying leg lifts, focusing on the lift coming from the glute squeeze rather than thinking about moving the leg, thinking about squeezing the bum. And then I did fire hydrants, which are super simple, but they're just one of my favourite activators. From there, I moved on to my squats and I started with a set with just the bar and that is to get used to the position and get used to activating everything. I then did a set of 8 reps with 47.5 kilos and this is for the same reason, just to get everything in the right 
place and to really think about what I'm squeezing, where my weight is, etc. And then my working sets were with 67.5 kilos. I've not done this weight in two weeks. I trained legs last week, but I was feeling achy, so it's like a random video. I will link it down below. It's kind of for flexibility. So it's been a while since I squatted, so I was really nervous, but actually this felt pretty okay. I really focus on pushing my feet and knees apart as much as possible. Um, have a very 67.5 for 10 reps is tiring and by the end of my second set and my third set I was finding that I was not able to accelerate and drive my hips under like I almost come up legs first and then my hips took under you can kind of see it from from the front um so that's something I need to focus on is um so you're allowed to fold forwards but just coming up all at in one rather than sort of separating the movement and sort of grinding it out through the legs and then tucking the hips under at the top I hope that makes sense um I hate this view because it just makes it look like I lift my heels but honestly I'm focusing on sitting back I really recommend filming yourself when you squat or getting someone to coach you and and basically point out the bits that feel like they're right but might not necessarily be perfect but three sets of ten are your working sets and then moved on to the barbell glute bridge and I was actually really annoyed because I couldn't lean the box against anything so I kept feeling like it was sliding backwards and I had to bring my feet in and there was one set where my hamstrings were feeling tight and there was another set where my quads were feeling tight then I, I don't know I just didn't have a good time um, but anyway I did three sets with 65 kilos and then I did one set with 40 because I was just getting tired and not feeling like I had really great contact in my glutes so to help me I did take a wide stance and really try and push my knees out as much as much as much as possible um if you have a similar thing like the best thing to do actually is take the weight down I should have taken it down after my first set when I wasn't really feeling it um but yeah take your weight down pop a band in between your knees I searched around for a band but I couldn't find any lying around and I can't find mine anywhere. To help you make these feel really good, you want to focus on pushing into your heels really, really hard, getting as high as you can, keeping your rib cage down and your core tight. So really think about tucking your butt under as much as you can, flattening through your sacrum, tucking your tailbone under. Keep your chin tucked in to help you not flare through the ribs. And yeah, focus on using your glutes as much as you can. You can do three sets of 12 with your working weight. And then after your third set, drop the weight straight away and go straight into a light set. And you're going to do as many reps as you possibly can. I think I only managed like 18 or 19 reps. Um, this is 40 kilos. Um, because I was feeling the burn. And I'm hoping that even though I wasn't loving this, I'm hoping I'm going to feel it tomorrow. So as I kind of said in the intro to this, I couldn't get comfy on my side leg press. Um, so I decided to just do um, like regular stance leg press. I did two sets of 10 with 80 kilos and I supersetted that with a single leg Romanian deadlift. And then I dropped the weight to 40 kilos and I tried the side leg press again. But I just wasn't living it, so I kind of gave up. So this set ended up being two sets, 10 single leg press superset with 12 single leg Romanian deadlift. Um, I could have done another set of Romanian deadlifts, but I think I was just, I don't know, tired and bored or I don't really know. I wasn't feeling it. So um, if you're feeling fresh and amazing, or not fresh, you shouldn't be fresh by this point. But if you're not ill, then go for three sets. And if the side leg press doesn't feel comfy, then go lighter. If you feel like your hips just getting squished, then just go for the Romanian deadlifts. 
for your Romanian deadlifts, you want to focus on hip hinging first, so really sticking your bum out and finding a stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. Most of your weight will be in your heel, and if you reach that other leg behind you, it's not just so you take up loads in space, but it helps you get a better lengthening or stretch through the supporting leg if you reach. It's like doing the splits, basically. Um, when that leg is reaching out, you get a good stretch. Anyway, um, 12 reps. So I decided to take the balance, stability, lower back effect out of this because I was just feeling very tired and I felt like I hadn't done much lateral movement. So I decided to go for a very light, slow and controlled lateral leg raise or a cable abduction. So I literally put it on the lightest weight possible and really focused on squeezing and lifting from the outer glutes and the outer thighs. So the abductors and the glute need mainly, um, it really, really burns and I really loved it. I went straight from the side leg raise into a kickback. So on the same leg, do 20 lateral raises and then straight into 20 kickbacks. I'm trying not to bend my knee at all and really just isolating the extension of the hip. And as you can tell, I'm kind of dying. My supporting leg is just dead. So after this set, I actually went into kneeling kickbacks instead. So once you've repeated all of that on your other leg and both of your glutes are completely smoked and you can no longer hold you up, you're going to go into a side kneeling leg raise. Um, so this is a difficult position to do with body weight, let alone with a cable. Um, my top arm is kind of reaching up above me to keep length down my right hand side, down my working side. I'm trying to keep my waist as long as possible so that the movement comes from the glutes and not from the tilt of my hip. But play around to make sure you feel it in the best way possible. And then from there you're going to pretty much like roll onto your front and do the same you're going to do a kneeling hip extension slash leg raise slash kickback in this position this actually felt really really good and after a rest I went heavier so I did one extra set this is with 10 kilos on the kneeling leg raise slash hip extension kickback thingy um, and now I know that I like this and it kind of feels like I can control it and get a good contraction then I'm going to try this um, in a session where I am less pathetic but I recommend giving this one a try you can go pretty heavy it feels really good from that even though I was tempted to just go home because I was very tired and achy I um, made sure I had a really good foam roller of my back because I was feeling really tight um, through my lower back and hips and so I kind of just felt compressed um, so I made sure to get in between my shoulder blades, my lats, my lower back, my hamstrings, especially on my left leg because that is always the one where my knee sometimes feels a tiny bit strange when I squat. Um, but I just make sure I put on some good music when I foam roll and stretch so I enjoy it as much as possible. And then in my forward fold, I am focusing on keeping my tailbone and my hips pushed back and then pulling my arms and my ribs and my back away from my hips. Sort of anchor yourself down with your hips. Um, similar when you're in the straddle, like when you're reaching to the right, make sure you're really anchoring your left hip down so that you're pulling the hips away from the torso. So that, yes. So that you're really stretching and then I go into a pigeon stretch and try and do the quad stretch and I realize I have an absolutely awful hip extension when I do these. That is the end of the workout. I will see you in the next clip. Um, when I list the exercises that I don't feel like I did much but I was at the gym for an hour and a half so more than that a long time nearly two hours so um, enjoy the workout and I will see you for more videos if I haven't made myself more ill. Hopefully not.
Um, but thank you so much for watching and please leave me a comment if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and stay happy and healthy.